Hello friends, welcome to Planning P6. Hope you are doing well. Today we are here with a very important tool which we have created for the new learners and experts, planning engineers to use the schedule XR file for the analyzing purpose or export extract something without help of Primavera P6. And this is also good for the project management professionals who don't know how to use the Primavera P6 and then they can use this analyzer and extract the more valuable things from the XGR file and basically this is tool which we named it as a schedules analyzer by planning P6 and I can show you I have already opened this uh, schedule analyzer it is actually micro bi tool here now it's open simply how we can use it and which profiles or files we can extract from it this is our name and this is our website here we will load the xr file then we will go to the schedule diagnostic then s curve duration based then we have option to print or see the calendars and then the Gantt chart where we can extract the entire schedule in Excel and do work. Then clear all like the data will be show here and clear XR and then about folder. One by one we will do this practice. First of all we move to the XR file. We will load an XR file in it. Load XR file. Click on it. After the clicking it will give us the options where you want to load xr file then we will go to the xr files whichever you want you can load it suppose we will go to the villa project ok load it after the loading it will be take little bit time as per your system specifications now it's loading here Whenever you will click here, you can see the project title here and whatever the project. Select here the file. Now, after the selecting, it will be tell you data date is this one and then project start date is this one and project finish date is this one with the times. It will be show the project start and finish dates and actual data date when the last time the project, the, that XR file are updated. Now, here the total task statics it is total number of activities are 18 and here wbs summaries these are activities types wbs summary 0 level of effort 0 start milestone is 1 finish milestone is 1 task dependent are 16 and resource dependent are 0 then here you can see the float statics no float completed task 0, negative float 0, critical activity is 18, float 0 to 45 days, maximum allowed the 45, 44 days are 0 and float less than 44 days, 0. Labor hours total budget is 2504, actual 0 because we have not updated the schedule remaining the same, at completion it will be same, when you will update it will be show the different values. Here non labor hours whatever the resources or something other non-labor will be assigned to your project it will be shown here and then task status how many activities are completed how many are ongoing and how many are not started 18 are not started so this it is a clear picture of schedule what is the for the analyzing of the schedule what is that the second option is schedule diagnostic how we can diagnose the schedule click on it and the same schedule here high duration whatever the duration you want you can write suppose 20 days and high float we can say the 14 days and generate it after the generating now you can see here the assessment criteria goal and links for the incompleted task incompleted task zero missing period less than five percent zero missing successors zero negative lags zero have lags 1 and relationship types finish to start 90% or greater 15 and finish to start to start or finish to finish less than 10% 1 start to finish 0 task 0 then hard concentrates 
फाइव परसेंट और लेस जीरो हाई फ्लोट जीरो नेगेटिव फ्लोट जीरो दिस इज द गोल माइरिंग क्राइटेरिया हाई ड्यूरेशन लेस देन फाइव परसेंट जीरो एंड देन इनवेलिड डेट्स इफ देयर इज सम इनवेलिड डेट्स देन नो असाइन रिसोर्सेज देयर वी डिड नॉट असाइन दिज एज वी सी इन दिस शीट देर आर टू माइल स्टोन वेयर इज इट माइल स्टोन फिनिश एंड स्टार्ट दिस टू माइल स्टोन दैट्स वाई दिस इज नो असाइन रिसोर्सेज आर ऑन टू एक्टिविटीज सो मेट्रिक्स माइल स्टोन here only in completed task no milestone no level of effort and non completed activities here will be show the matrix and here matrix milestone total incompleted milestone 2 and here there are matrix and these activities which you input give there like in the starting 20 days and 14 days float this is this will show here the value activity name activity id and matrix task with lag this is cluster work is exceeding from that limit which you have given if you have the complete schedule for the 1000 activities you can see the all activities it will be filtered here where you give the command now move forward to the other option is s curve this s curve must be a duration based and how it will work just proof of concept the result are probably wrong but it will be accurate working suppose it's opening the s curve how it will be generate on duration base now first thing what we will see here that will start to date is 26th october 2020 and 15th of january 2021 now go to the here here 27th of october and 15th of january it will be a duration base plan plan progress plan you can it is like that and you can if you have your own s curve template this is daily basis you can accumulate of 10 if you have to weekly you can calculate as a week from here put the formula is equal to is equal to you can say the auto sum auto sum auto sum this is or plus sign plus sign this one you can calculate like that a week three days whatever you want for the month you can calculate from here like that for the monthly as well you can extract this is daily plan progress if you are preparing daily as curve then it is good to pick the dates from here and the sample is here if you want to add in some other or format this one you can go and format this as well whatever you want dates are showing and you can extend this one and prepare your own s curve and put the earned values over there so the next is calendars calendars okay which calendar is assigned your project it will be showing here and here input the year you can say here 2021 we want 1 2021 and this calendar two calendars are assigned just show click on the show it will be show the year where you can see which are the working days which are the non working days you can see here year 2021 when you put the any other 2020 and 21 it will be show over there these are non working days these are non working days these blue are non working days and exception is green and exception from the global calendar is orange calendar you can print this calendar and put on wall to clear understanding if you have any holidays for any events religious events something you can put whenever you the calendar assigned to the project that calendar will show here suppose we have to go here and show 2020 if we put here 2020 it will be show here it's not necessary you can create two or three tabs as well if it will be giving errors then you can change it or close it without saving it will be error will be removed automatically now the work year is 2020 you can see here the entire year for the other calendar so the basic function to prepare this one 
is this Gantt chart. Now we will go to the Gantt chart option. Only tasks, remove the completed tasks, export printout. Now, first of all, we will select the column. There is ID, this one dates, start, actual start, restart, actual finish, finish, forecast finish. You can select whatever you want. Duration, performance percent, we complete, we need, and float, we need total float column as well. Budget, actual remaining, add completion and value. Labor for the non labor. We need all non labor as well and cost we need all which column you have selected here it will be shown in your sheet after the selecting the column you just go and view this one it will take a little bit time to generate the extract the data from your Excel file and manage into the Excel this is basic I will show you there is no method to create Gantt chart in Excel in a minute, but here we have option to create in a, just one click. With the one click, we will create a Gantt chart. Okay, here done in 27 seconds. Okay, it's working on it now. You can see here which column we selected over there. You can see level 1, 2, 3, WBS level, activity ID. Activity ID, activity name, start, restart, finish, which column we have selected over there. And here, if you see this one, this one, budget, completion, add completion, whatever you column you give there, over there, it is showing here. And here, the Gantt chart is here, the milestone activity, 2020 and 21, what is the critical because these all activities are critical that's why it's showing that if there is any other activity which is not critical it will be show as a green whenever you can put here when it is updated it will be show as the color the schedule is updated you can see from here as well this is cost total target cost labor earned remain you can delete or something columns from here as well it is different levels of project it is level 3 project that's why it's showing like that so for the next one is the clear all when you click here the clear all it will be clear all these tables and clear the xr when you will clear the xr it will be clear this xr file then you have to load again the xr file and this is a board section prepared by Engineer Sen Khan, Planning P6, and visit us for the latest update www.planningp6.com. This one, this about section, and this one. When now we will do if we clear all, it will be cleared these all sections spreadsheet, calendar, and Gantt chart. You see, the all columns are here. Just go to the dashboard and clear all. Whenever you will click on clear, clear all, it will be clear all the files from here and as well here. If you want to clear only XR file, just load again the XR file from here. Something XR file, we loaded any other project. It's loading. When you click on the only on the XR file, it will be removed only XR file and data will remain there it depends the time takes for the loading it depends on the your project activities how much are the activities total number of activities and WBS levels it will be take take little bit time okay generate just as for the default we can generate okay generate it To get this tool please contact us with the given our email id is running on the top of the video info at the rate of planning p6.com for the getting contact us we will provide this tool for you people it is taking time to generate a x curve for the extracting all the data now the curve has been generated. Now we will move to the Gantt chart directly without 
okay whichever the columns are selected default we will just go for that one to show you people then i clear only xr other files will remain same here here if you see here project start date total number of activities are 225 it's working and non labor hours are there budget labor hours are there negative float is 38 is there critical activities are 24 by this way you can track your project where is the negative float activities you can catch that activities and remove the negative float float from here you can see here the negative float civil it's level 1 2 3 4 level 4 you can see its color is also changed as we have selected over there level 5 is also there this one this is especially for the island gas project and now you can see the activities which are critical or not it's showing here like that this is 2018 from may to december the all columns are selected over there and it's created like that this one and now we will clear only the XR file. XR file has been cleared. Here is no XR file, but the other data which you have generated is here. And whenever you will use that one, just make a copy of this tool and then use that. If some errors, then the original will remain same with you and you can do again and again. Hopefully, this tool is very helpful for you people. Once again, for getting this tool, contact us at the info at the rate of learning p6.com write an email to us we will provide you this tool thanks for watching please like a hit share with the other engineers for the use and also comment if you like it please comment it thanks for watching allah hafiz